Hey guys, it's Nate from The Bike Company. I want to go over a quick how-to on sizing your adjustable seat post based on your inseam and your frame size. So to start out with, you're going to get your inseam. The easiest way is to get a stick or a ruler or something and uh, go all the way up, get the stick or ruler flat, put a mark on the wall, measure it down from the wall. Well, you don't have to involve any of your friends or family in this. It's a, a personal thing. From there, you're going to take that inseam and from the top of your saddle to about the top of your pedals, that's going to be pretty close. You want to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. On average, you're going to come down a little bit from your, your inseam. On my personal bike, I've got pretty long legs for how tall I am, so I've always got plenty of posts showing. This how-to really helps the rider who is upsizing or maybe has a little shorter legs per size. Once you have that inseam, you can take the measurement from the top of your pedals to the collar of the bike, and then measure from the rails to the seating portion of your saddle. And that's gonna give you how much is available from the collar to the rails. From there, you can work to maximize the amount of travel that you like while making sure that you're not going past the maximum insertion point on the frame. On most modern frames, we don't see this as an issue too much anymore, but occasionally it, it's worth a check before you try to stuff a super long post uh, into something all the way down. Again, I like to have a little bit of wiggle room between the collars, so you can come down a little bit. If you calculate to an exact collar on collar fit, you're gonna have to take the any sort of play into the uh, adjustable seat post, or if you work with a, a one-up post or a PNW that's got an adjustable travel, that'll give you some, uh, some range of motion. So either adjustable travel in the seat post or a little bit of wiggle room here is a good idea. Now on my personal bike, you're gonna see I don't run the maximum seat post. That's because I like to catch the saddle on the inside of my thigh in the corners. So I just backed into that number and said, this is about where I like that to be. It was real easy. Uh, some riders don't like that. They want maximum travel. Other riders like to catch the, the bike. It gives you a high leverage point and really adds a lot of control. Uh, that's my opinion. The last caveat, there's not a lot of this right now, but for the riders who are using maybe a saddlebag, make sure that your saddlebag at full compression with the tire at full compression, that they don't contact. Uh, otherwise, it can be quite a mess and you don't want that. So check out the blog on bikeco.com if you have any questions on how this works. We go through it in a little bit more detail. But that's the basics on fitting your inseam to your adjustable seat post for your frame.